Let us say we encounter an equation of such kind 4x minus 7 is equal to 15. To solve this equation, we just need to collect all the constant terms on one of the sides and on the other side we keep all the variable terms. And so this is a simpler form of linear equation which we know how to solve. Now what if we get an equation of this kind 7x plus 3 divided by 2 plus 3 is equal to minus x plus 5 divided by 4. Now this equation is not in a simpler form and why this is not in a simpler form is because we cannot visualize this straight away in this form ax plus b is equal to c where a b and c are constants like here a b and c. Now when we encounter such an equation now the first task is to convert this equation into a simpler form and then it's easier for us to solve such equations. So in such cases what we can do is look at the denominators wherever they are appearing find its LCM. So when we look at the denominators it's 2 and 4 and the LCM of 2 and 4 is 4. You can even make a mental note of the LCM and once you find the LCM next step is to multiply both the sides of the equation by the LCM. So what we are going to do is multiply the whole left hand side by 4. So 7x plus 3 divided by 2. So let me just write x properly and in the bracket we will also have plus 3 equal to 4 times minus x plus 5 divided by 4. Now after we multiply both the sides by the LCM very interesting thing happens. This annoying denominator that is appearing in the left hand side and also the right hand side disappears. Let's see how. So when we multiply 4 7x plus 3 divided by 2 and we also multiply 4 with the 3 as well. Do not forget that. So 4 times 3 is equal to now 4 times minus x plus 5 divided by 4. Now look at this fraction on the left. 4 is multiplying 7x plus 3 and it's getting divided by 2. So can we divide this 4 by 2 and we get 2 here and similarly on the right hand side the 4 gets cancelled with 4. So what has happened is that on the left hand side let me write it nicely. So this 4 is not anymore there. The denominator is not anymore there. I can write this to a little closer to 7x plus 3. 4 times 3 is 12 and on the right hand side I don't have to write 4 in the denominator as well as in the numerator. So I am left with this interesting equation here which looks a little simpler than the original form and that is 2 times 7x plus 3 plus 12 is equal to minus x plus 5. So let us solve this bracket. So I have created some space now. So if we solve the bracket on the left hand side, we multiply 2 with the 7x and we also multiply 2 with the 3. So 2 times 7 is 14x and 2 times 3 is 6. So we have 14x plus 6 plus 12 is equal to minus x plus 5, which is nothing but 14x plus 18 is equal to minus x plus 5. Now let me use this space on the right to solve this equation here now I can transpose this minus x to the left and its sign will change so 14x so 14x plus 18 plus x because I have transposed this negative x to the left and its sign has changed is equal to I am left with 5 on the right hand side now let us transpose this plus 18 to the right and since we are transposing it to the other side, its sign will change. So 14x plus x is equal to 5 minus 18. And I get 15x on the left hand side and minus 13 on the right hand side. And after we divide both the sides by 15, I get x is equal to minus 13 by 15. And this is how we have solved the original complex looking equation which was basically not in the simpler form to the simpler looking form by multiplying both the sides by the LCM of the denominators that we were seeing in the complex form.